Good evening, fellow classmates uh, of Comms 101. Uh, this is Eric Aaron again. Uh, tonight I'm going to be discussing uh, a little bit about uh, two speeches that we'll have to do later on during this term. Uh, first off, the informative speech is going to end up being about uh, musicians. Um, so you can see right here, one of the props that I have is a uh, four-string bass guitar. It's an Ibanez SR500. I've had this for a couple years now. I don't play it as often as I would like, um, and I'm by far not considered a musician. However, um, one troubling thing that I've noticed nowadays, especially with public education, is that... Uh, they're starting to remove uh, music education and art out of schools. Um, in my opinion, that's a bit troubling, because I find that uh, learning music teaches uh, patience, teaches uh, responsibility. Um, responsibility part, uh, more so taking care of your instrument, because these instruments cost hundreds, even thousands of dollars. Um, with the field, it can be enjoyable, albeit, you know, competitive. It's also very challenging. Uh, it's not necessarily one of those jobs where you can make, you know, six figures or more. Um, the second part is, uh, for the persuasive speech, is involving uh, animals. You can see right here, or you can probably hear it in the background, are two dogs. Come here, Matilda. <laughs> This right here is my English old English bulldog, Matilda. She's almost six months old. Uh, as you can tell, she's very playful, and she's a real handful. Say hi, Matilda. Um, luckily, she's been in a loving home for most of her life, so there really hasn't been any issues. Now our second dog, <laughs> hang on, come here, Ethan. This is Ethan. This little fellow right here is five years old. He's a Norwich Terrier Brussels Griffin mix. The um, thing about him is we ended up adopting him uh, earlier this past year uh, from the local SPCA. Um, they ended up finding him out on the streets in Chesterfield, uh, roaming about, rummaging through trash and whatnot. Um, we ended up picking him up, and he's been living here ever since. Now, the reason why I bring it up, um, the main differences, obviously, besides the size, the energy levels, and the breed, is that Matilda, she's been in a loving home for pretty much her whole life. Ethan, we suspect, had been in an abusive relationship um, with his owners. Uh, he doesn't like uh, vacuum cleaners. He doesn't like... Any really loud noises. He's kind of skittish, a little bit standoffish. It didn't bother us so much until we started noticing, you know, the whole loud noise thing. We really got kind of concerned. Uh, animal cruelty has been brought up to the forefront uh, in the past few years, especially with things like dog fighting ring, rings involving uh, Michael Vick, so on and so forth. Um, one thing that's noted in our book is that God values all life, not just humans. Luke 12.6 12, 6, 12, 6 notes, just in summary, that um, even though human life is more valuable than animals, God doesn't forget about them. Uh, look forward to hearing from y'all, uh, looking at your comments, and I hope y'all have a good evening.